Hey, Anthony Cesare here with SuccessForYourSongs.com. So as a songwriter, you probably have a lot of inspiration and you're constantly thinking of new ideas for songs and being creative and things like that. So if you've been studying songwriting, you also have a lot of tools, methods, and techniques that you can apply to your songs. Now, you may not know exactly how to balance uh, inspiration and these techniques, tools, and, and you know the more technical side of things. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to do just that. How to combine what you know technically about putting together a song and the inspirational side of things. Now I'm about to play for you a clip from an interview I did with Michael Shore. Michael is a songwriting professor at Berklee College of Music's online extension school. And he's going to be talking to you about just that. How to combine the inspiration you have with the, the methods and techniques that you learned about songwriting. So check that out here. There's a great line that Jai Joseph, hmm. um, who's one of my favorite songwriting teachers, um, has, which is he says, he says, whatever you learn from what I'm teaching you, never use it when you're writing songs. Never, never, never. Only use it when you're editing. <laughs> right. And, and he, I think in, in that, he summarizes something which is true for many songwriters, if not all, which is that when, um, when you're in a place of inspiration, when you're in a place that the um, music or lyrics or both are flowing out of you, you don't want to activate your critical craft mind. You don't want your your um it's it you could call it a left brain and right brain kind of thing. Right. When when your right brain creates a whole sort of intuitive brain is active, you don't want to try to constrain it by saying that won't work, this isn't logical, look at you're missing these details and all of that, which is what more the the um the analytic side of 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 your brain does. And um and and so I think in general that's an important, or it's, it's at least worth exploring working that way if you're a songwriter, to just go for it, just flow, just whatever is coming up. If you're finding yourself in that place of flow, I think they're happening, just record it all somehow, memorize it. I think for many people it's good to have your, you know, your computer recording it or your, you know, call your voicemail if you're in the car or whatever you need to do and just go. And then, once that's on its course, then you can come back and, and start using craft and asking the questions of, is this, what am I trying to get? You know, what, what am I asking? What's, or what's at the heart of this song? And then, am I getting there in the most effective way? Right. And that's, and the interesting thing is that the more you use craft in the, in the editing, process, the more it becomes part of your flow and your intuitive process. Mm -hmm. It just becomes, you know, unconscious. You just go with it. Um, and so, you know, like, for example, I would have, you know, if I were if I were counseling my fifth grade self, I would say, okay, well, you know, just go with that song that came out. The melody is pretty nice. You have this interesting imagery and, you know, sky and sunlight and, you know, some you know, morning, you've got a time and a place and so on. It's just, you know, go with that. And whatever comes out, it's not the final thing. Writing is rewriting, for the most part. There's a, there's some exceptions. But for the most part, writing is rewriting. And so um, just, you know, go with it. Don't don't stress it. Just whatever comes out, go with it. You're a friend of mine who teaches painting. He's a <laughs> he's an extraordinary uh art teacher, but really he's an extraordinary teacher of create, creative practice. And he says, you know, you kind of trick yourself and you say, you know, I'm not trying to write the number one hit song. I'm just trying to, this is just another song that's going to be part of my portfolio. And um, that can help a lot of people. There are some, I think there are some people who, you know what, I'm really going for that number one song and I can you know, that's the mentality I don't understand personally, but I, I can accept that there are some people like that. But for me and for many people, it's almost like we have to trick our critical mind right. out of paying attention for a while. And then after that, 
you know, you can see what you got and whether you think it is something that you want to polish more or something that you want to take further. Okay, so hopefully you got some cool ideas from what you just heard and things that you could try out as you move forward. So don't forget to download your free songwriting ebook below. It'll give you some good ideas for both the technical and the inspirational side of things. So definitely check that out. And uh, thanks again for checking out this video. I will talk to you next time. Take care.